guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to teach you how to make the raffia bag that is inspired by prada uh i saw this because of its price it was posted in a facebook group that i'm in it's called black women who crochet and knit and i just thought the price is really crazy for the simple approach of crochet that is there but i don't blame anyone for their price that is what they thought would be the best price for their for their product so um today i'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of making this bag and um before we get started don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below it helps out my channel a lot and let's begin all right so as i walk i'll be referring to this photo so that i can get something very close to what we have in this photo so i'll put my phone here in front of me so um to get started on your project you'll need a few materials uh you'll need a pair of scissors you will need a four millimeter crochet hook that's the the hook that's recommended for my yarn and the yarn i'm going to use is winter king it's a four ply acrylic yarn but you can go ahead and use any yarn of your choice any yarn that you have available then uh, you will need one stitch marker i'll be showing you when to use this and then a darning needle to weave in your ends so um you can put all this away and you're going to grab your yarn so for the yarn i'll be using mustard yellow and we are going to start off with a slip knot <coughs> So if you don't know how to make the mesh stitch, I already have a detailed video on how to do that and you can check it out on the screen. I'll be leaving the link there or in the description box below. This is going to be a beginner friendly tutorial, but also um, keeping in mind that I already gave the main points of this stitch in my previous video. So let's get started. You're going to start off with a chain of 54 one two three four five six seven eight So I have my chain of 54 and this is going to be the width of the bag. <clears throat> As you can see here, this is going to be from here all the way to this side. So after your 54 chains, <clears throat> sorry, you're going to go into the sixth chain from the hook. So you're going to count from this one one two three four five and into the sixth you're going to place a double crochet and then chain one skip one stitch and double crochet into the next so that's going to start uh, forming the mesh pattern chain one skip one chain double crochet into the next and repeat that all the way across
so we are almost coming to the end of our row and you should be left with two chains and you're going to chain one and go into the very last one you skip over the second last one and go into the last one with a double crochet so that marks the end of row one and you should be having a total of 25 boxes let's cross check we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So whatever number of chains that you decide to start with, make sure that um, you have an odd number of boxes created on your very first row especially if you want to make the triangular motif on your work so we have this and now we are going to row two for row two you're going to chain four and that counts as a double crochet chain one turn your work double crochet into the next double crochet so skip over the chain space and double crochet into the next double crochet chain one double crochet into the next double crochet so for this row we are making sure that the stitches are placed into the double crochets from the previous row we don't work anything into the chain spaces so that's going to create this uh, perfect mesh pattern So continue to place one double crochet into each double crochet separated by a chain one space. And row two should have the same exact number of boxes as row one. So we are coming to the end of uh, row two and you're going to chain one, skip one chain of this last chain, skip over this chain and go into the next with a double crochet. So that marks the end of row two and we should have the same number of boxes. As you can see, all the boxes are aligned on top of one another. So. Let's go to row three, chain four, which counts as a double crochet chain one. Turn your work and we are going to repeat row two. Double crochet into each and every stitch, separated by a chain one space. Making sure that you don't work anything in the chain spaces from the previous row. So when you come to the end of your row, you're going to chain one, skip the next chain, and then double crochet into the, la the next. So this is what we have. You're going to repeat this row until you have a total of 24 rows all together, and that will be the back panel. Um, as you can see here, <coughs> This is the back panel. It has no design at all here. 
it has no triangular shape so it's just worked in plain rows of mesh all the way up until you have 24 rows and then um, when you get your 24 rows you'll chain one and cut your yarn so that's how to end the back panel now for the front panel you're going to repeat the same exact process as this you make the same exact chains which was uh, 54 chains and you start working the mesh pattern until you have a total of 11 rows 11 rows until we are at this level and then i'll meet you back at that point when you have 11 rows and then i show you how to work this um, area as well as the straps as well as the sides and everything so just have two panels one which is 24 rows long um which is the back panel and then the front panel up to row 11 and then i'll meet you back at that point so i currently have my 11 rows as you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so uh, we are going to mark the exact middle box so we have a total of 25 boxes that means we should mark the 13th box so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so there you're going to put a stitch marker into that box and this side you should be having a total of 12 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so 12 on each side and then the middle one is the 13th so um, we're going to row 12 and you're going to chain 4 turn your work we're going to continue with the same exact pattern which is double crochet into the next double crochet after skipping the chain space chain one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one so continue to do that until you get to the stitch marker So I'm um, at that box with the stitch marker you're going to remove it and now we are going to start forming the triangular shape at the front of the bag so this time we are not going to chain one we are just going to go into that box that had the stitch marker and place a double crochet in there and then go into the next double crochet with one double crochet like that and then um, we are going to continue with the mesh pattern so from now on chain one double crochet into the next double crochet so you can see that we are starting to form that block shape in the middle of the front of the bag so continue with your mesh pattern So we are done with this row, which is row 12. Now we are going to row 13 and we are going to chain 4, which counts as a double crochet chain 1. Turn your work and double crochet into the next double crochet. So um, I'll be using a stitch marker to demonstrate. So after these three stitches here, there's a 
chain one space on this side so that's where i'm going to place my stitch marker this is for the sake of the tutorial but you can just eyeball it so just go on with your mesh pattern until you get to that that box with the stitch marker that we just placed Okay, chain one, one double crochet into the next double crochet and now we've reached that box that has the stitch marker. You're going to remove it and this time we are not going to chain one. As you can see, we just placed a double crochet and then into that box you're going to place one double crochet and then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Like that and then one double crochet into the next space one double crochet into the next double crochet and then you're going to continue with the mesh pattern so chain one one double crochet into the next double crochet and continue to do that until the end of the row So when you come to the end of the row, you're going to end it the same exact way as usual. Just go into the second chain with a double crochet. So we're going to row 14, chain 4, turn your work, double crochet into the next double crochet, chain 1, so um you're going to double crochet until you have only one box to the block part of the of the bag so the block part i'm talking about is here that middle section as you can see so we are continuing to make the mesh stitch until we get to this space here the one just next to the block part If you want, you can always place a stitch marker as I had done for the previous row. But from now on, we are just going to eyeball. So we have reached that box here. And make sure you don't chain one here. You just go directly into that box with a double crochet. And then double crochet into each of the next double crochets until you get to the next chain one space. All right, so we've reached the next chain one space and you're going to place one double crochet into it and then one double crochet into the next double crochet. And then we are going to go ahead and continue with our mesh pattern. Chain one, one double crochet into the next stitch. So you can see the triangular shape has started forming and we are going to continue to increase the triangular shape um, until we get to row 19. So you can see here what we have we're going to keep spreading out the triangular shape just like we did for the previous row so i'm going to demonstrate one more row and then you're going to continue to do that until you get to row 19. so so far we are we are at uh, 14 and now we are going to row 15. chain four turn your work 
work your mesh pattern until you get to the chain one space right next to the block part of the triangle. So we are at that box here. Make sure you don't chain one. You just go directly into that box with a double crochet. Double crochet into all the next double crochets of the triangle until you get to the next chain one space. So when you get to the next chain one space, which is this one, you're going to place one double crochet into it and then one double crochet into the next double crochet and from there we are going to continue to work our mesh pattern chain one one double crochet into the next stitch all the way across until the end of the row so this is row 15 that means we still have four more rows to do the same exact thing and our triangle is going to continue to spread out and become bigger and more visible on our bag, on the front side of our bag. So I hope you can now see it. So let me continue to do four more rows. I'm going to just speed through this. So I am currently on row 19 and row 19 should look like this. You can see our triangular shape has come out and now for row 20 you're going to chain 4, turn your work. We're going to stop creating the triangle, we're going back to the mesh pattern. So you're going to skip the chain space, double crochet in the next, chain 1 double crochet into the next double crochet chain one double crochet chain one one double crochet and this time instead of creating that block part of the triangle we're just going to going to continue chaining one skip the next space double crochet into the next stitch chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch now we are bringing back the mesh pattern Continue to chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next, like that, all the way across. 
and this will be a row 20. So we are creating the mesh pattern across the top of the triangle that we just created. So when you make it across the triangular shape, you're just going to continue to work the mesh pattern all the way across. And that should bring us back to our 25 boxes across row 20. You should be having a total of 25 boxes all together. And now, we are going to chain four, turn your work, one double crochet into the next double crochet. Now we are back to the original pattern that we were working here and we are going to repeat that pattern until uh, we have a total of 24 rows or uh, we want a total of five rows after the triangle. So, so far we have one row and we are working on the second one. We want a total of five. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back when I'm done with that. So I am through with um, my five rows after the triangular shape and that should bring us back to a total of 24 rows all together just like we have for our back panel so at this point we are done with the front panel as well and now we are going to start working on the sides of the bag so after your last stitch you're going to just chain one and cut your yarn So we are going to put this away for now and then we work the sides of the of the bag. So for the sides we are going to chain six you're going to make a slip knot and you're going to make a chain of six. Then chain one more, which is seven, and then single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then into each and every chain across. So you should be having a total of six single crochets. All right. So we have this. Row two, we are going to chain one, turn our work. Go into the very first stitch with a single crochet and single crochet all the way across. And then row three, chain one, turn your work, repeat row two. Single crochet into each and every stitch across. And you should be having the same exact number of stitches for each and every row. So we are going to repeat row two until we have a total of um, 146 rows. And I'm going to show you how you can go about uh, determining how many rows that you need for your sides. So you're going to get one of your panels. I'll get the front panel. So you can see the sides are going to cover from here all the way down and all the way up so what I plan to do is to distribute two rows into each and every space so we have 24 rows on this side and that is 24 times 2 which is 48 and then we also have 24 on this side uh, 24 times 2 which is 48 
48 and 48 will give you a total of 96 um, rows. Then uh, down here we have a total of 25 spaces and 25 times 2 which is 50 and 50 plus the 48 and 48 on the sides that will give us 146 so that's how you determine the number of rows that you're going to do for the sides so you're just going to continue to just work six stitches across until you have a total of 146 rows for the side panel so go ahead and do that and i'll meet you back all right so i have my 146 rows of single crochet stitches and now we are going to start attaching this side onto the bag so get one of the sides I'll get the back side first and I'm going to start attaching the body of the side onto um, the back panel so to do that I'm going to make sure that I'm placing only um, two rows into into each and every um, two rows of single crochets into each row of mesh or each space so that's one and then two and then go to the next space one and two so that's all we are going to do one and two and we are going to go all the way across attaching our side onto the body of the back panel Make sure you don't miss any row because uh, we were very accurate with the number of rows that we needed for the side panel. So So this um, single crochet row is to help us with the edges of the bag. As you can see, um, the bag is not so flat. It's helping us with that corner of the bag to be very defined. And this is the outside part of the bag, by the way. So uh, we are not going to turn it to the other side. This is the outside part of the bag. We are working the single crochet row on the right side of the bag.
so we are almost coming to the first corner of the bag and I'm going to show you what to do from there so um, we are done with the first part now you're going to turn your work to this side and since this hole was also considered as one of the holes that you get two stitches from the bottom side that means this hole is going to have a total of four stitches like that so that we can turn so from here go into the next and place two rows of the single crochet panel and continue to do that all the way across so I want to just go a few um, stitches in so that we see how the corner has turned out to be okay so you can see what that has created a definite corner on um, our bag so this is how the side looks like this is how the back panel looks like now we are going to go all the way across to this side and don't forget this hole gets a total of four rows of the of the single crochet panel So we are on the last box here and we are going to attach a total of four rows of the single crochet panel. Those are two and then three and four this will be the last one and then we are going to start attaching our very last side which is this one and you can see uh, your side panel should be almost equal to the back panel so go into the next hole and place two rows and continue to place um, two rows of the side panel into each box. So we're almost coming to the end and I have only one box left so I'm going to attach it into the last two rows of the single crochet panel or the side panel and this is what you should have. You're going to chain one, cut your yarn, pull through and this is what your bag should look like. As you can see here so now we are going to reintroduce our 
front panel which is this one and we're going to attach it the same exact way as we did the back panel using uh, single crochet stitches now you're going to turn your work to this side determine which side you want to be the right side I think I'll go with this one and then grab your yarn And then we're going to start attaching the same exact way make sure you don't skip any um, any rows Don't forget to work your single crochet row on the right side of the work so that we create that uh, ribbing in the corners of the bag. So this is what I'm talking about. Those corners, as you can see here, We've created it on this side, so we are creating it again on this side. So you're going to go all the way around the same exact way that uh, you did the back panel. And don't forget, when you're placing your front panel, make sure the triangular shape is on the upper side of the bag where there's the opening. Make sure you don't uh, make it inverted. So go ahead and walk around and I'll meet you back at this point. so after going all the way around you're going to have something that looks like this and this is the side and this is the back panel so uh we're going to work a single crochet row on top of our bag because now we have an opening at the top of the bag so you're going to chain one and go into each and every box with two single crochets two single crochets into each and every box So when you come to the side panel, as you can see, we are done working on the top part. Now we have to turn to the side and we are going to place one single crochet into each and every stitch across. So you had six stitches for the side panel. You should have six stitches here. And then, um, we are going to go back to two single crochets into each and every box. All the way across. Okay, so after making it across, you are going to turn your work and then work one, one single crochet into each and every stitch.
and after that we are going to go into the very first single crochet that we made of the round and make a slip stitch chain one and cut your yarn so at this point we are done with the body of the bag and we are now going to go onto the straps and you should have something that looks like this so let's go onto the straps of the bag so for the straps you are going to make a slip knot and make a chain of six one two three four five and six and you're going to go into the second chain from the hook and single crochet and then continue to single crochet all the way across so that marks the end of row one you should have a total of five single crochets row two you're going to chain one and turn one single crochet into each and every stitch for a total of five single crochets okay after that you're going to chain one and repeat row two and you're going to keep repeating this until you have a total of 60 rows for the strap and you're going to do two of them once you finish 60 rows you chain one cut your yarn and repeat the same exact process for the second strap and then I'll meet you back at that point okay so after your 30 rows for each strap you are going to chain one and leave a long strand you cut your yarn leaving a long strand for attaching and now you're going to get your darning needle and thread it with um, the strand you you've left on the on the strap for attaching so just thread your darning needle and we are going to skip um, five boxes from this end so we have one two three four five and now we are going to count um, five stitches in because our strap has five stitches and we are starting from this other side but we can as well start from here I think it doesn't hurt so just start with the first stitch and attach twice and then for the next stitches just attach once until you get to the second last stitch So when you get to the last one, you're going to attach two times just to make it secure enough. And then you're going to weave in your tail. I'll weave it in later on. Let me first do the attaching. So from here, make sure your strap is not twisted. And we are going to count um, the same exact number of boxes from the other side. So five five boxes from this side one two three four and five and then one two three four five because we are starting from this side one two times for the first stitch and then for the middle stitches you attach once And then for the last stitch you attach twice and then you're going to do that for your second strap and you can see our strap is now attached so turn your work around and attach your second strap 
So if you're wondering what this is, this is a board that came in my um, YouTube silver badge packaging. And you can see this. This is my information. And this was my silver badge. So I've just removed what was inside. That thing that was inside to just help with the shaping and to get the definite shape of the bag. So that's what I've placed inside. I wanted to put some books inside, but these are a little bit too heavy, very, very heavy for the bag. So um, I'm going to go ahead and attach this second strap. Always make sure that your strap is not twisted and then start joining. So at this point we are done attaching all our straps and this is what your bag should look like and uh, we are now going to weave in all our ends so that our bag is very neat and I'll meet you back at the end of the um, at the end of everything.